Welcome back to Squeaky Stories. Today we'll be reading Dinosaur Whack, Dinosaur Boo, Dinosaur Munch, Dinosaur Stump, and Dinosaur Raw. Dinosaur Raw, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The king of the dinosaurs, Dinosaur Raw, had a roar that no creature could ever ignore. Tyrannosaurus roared louder than thunder. Others all did as he asked, and no wonder. If Dinosaur Boo shouted Boo! like a boar, he was roared at most strictly by Dinosaur Roar. He was bigger than him and so clever and brave that he made the Deinonychus want to behave. If Dinosaur Munch gobbled somebody's food, roars roaring meant, hey, that is awfully rude. And although Diplodocus aren't very bright, he knew he had done wrong and that roar was right. And if he caught Dinosaur Honk showing off, Dinosaur Roar made a roar like a cough, as if to say, Stop it! You're causing a riot! And that kept Parasolophus quiet. He ruled with his roar. He had no need to speak, but he always roared softly to Dinosaur Squeak. She knew that it meant he was trying to say, Sweet Comsognathus, please come out to play. Squeak was his friend. He protected her proudly. She gave him no reason to roar very loudly, except for the time she got lost by the lake when he roared and he roared like his poor heart would break. He roared and he roared till his throat felt so sore. It hurt him so much that he lost his loud roar. Until Squeak was found to his joyful delight. And he roared with great happiness all day and night. Tyrannosaurus means tyrant lizard and rex means king. Tyrannosaurus rex had teeth the size of bananas. Tyrannosaurus Rex's arms were too short to reach its mouth. Tyrannosaurus Rex walked on its two hind legs. Tyrannosaurus Rex had a huge head and nearly two meters long. Tyrannosaurus Rex had only two fingers on each hand. Dinosaur Stump, the Triceratops. Deep in the rainforest, far from the swamp, lived a grumpy Triceratops, Dinosaur Stump. He wasn't a creature who wanted to play. If anyone tried, he would chase them away. Dinosaur Honk was too noisy by far. The Parasaurolophus honked like a car. Stump lowered the horns on his huge frilly head and charged like a rhino at Honk till she fled. Dinosaur Whiz drove him totally crazy. The speedy 
Solophysis thought he was lazy. She ran rings around him, but then to her shock, he charged, and she raced off and hid by a rock. But no one annoyed him like Dinosaur Bash. The Ankylosaurus arrived with a crash and a smash as he thrashed with his terrible tail like a huge heavy hammer attacking a nail. Dinosaur Stomp lost his temper at this his bristles went stiff and he charged with a hiss. But ouch, something hit him. He gave a sharp cry. The stone bash was smashing through grit in his eye. Stomp couldn't see. He felt helpless and sad. Now he had frightened away any friends that he had. All except one, little dinosaur Squeak. She was frightened of no one and patted his beak. The small Compsognathus removed the sharp stone. For once, Stomp was glad that he wasn't alone. With no grit in his eye, he could see in the end. There were times a Triceratops needed a friend. Triceratops was one of the biggest horned dinosaurs. Triceratops had a hard beak at the end of its nose, like a parrot. Triceratops means three-horned face. Triceratops had a large frill which covered its neck. Triceratops had a head the size of a small car. Triceratops had feet like an elephant. The end. Dinosaur Whack, the Stegosaurus. The clumsiest creature to wander the track was the young Stegosaurus, Dinosaur Whack. With a yo-yo-sized brain, she would frequently fail to control the far end of her long, spiky tail. It flailed about wildly, scaring her mates. Embarrassed, she went very red in the plates. Whack didn't know it, but as she turned round, her tail knocked Dinosaur Chew to the ground. The shocked Iguanodon hobbled away to find a less dangerous place he could play. Another day, Whack was just scratching an itch when poor Dinosaur Whiz ended up in a ditch. But as the Coelophysis tried to complain, Whack accidentally did it again. No one was safe, but Whack hadn't a clue that she had bopped the Deinonychus dinosaur boo. As he crept up behind her to see if she had jumped, she gave him a biff and a bump on the rump. Whack didn't realise why she was feared. But she was so clumsy, her friends disappeared. She wandered alone, feeling quite out of place, with her tail in the undergrowth, far from her face. Then feeling a tickle right down at the end, she saw she'd been joined by a greedy old friend, the huge Diplodocus called Dinosaur Munch was eating leaves stuck to her spikes for his lunch. Wax tail had its uses her friends could now see. 
as they all shared the leaves she'd collected for tea. Stegosaurus means roof lizard. Stegosaurus had a small head and its brain was only the size of a plum. Stegosaurus was a large, slow-moving plant eater. Stegosaurus had a powerful tail with four sharp spikes at the end. Stegosaurus was a quadruped, which means it walked on all four legs. Stegosaurus had two rows of bony plates along its back. The end. Dinosaur Munch, the Diplodocus. The huge Diplodocus called Dinosaur Munch had a tummy that never felt full after lunch. As long as three buses with tea tray sized feet, he always felt hungry and wanted to eat. As soon as he had eaten, he wanted some more, so he sucked up the leaves from the rainforest floor. He ate all the bushes above and beneath with a swish of his neck and his rows of huge teeth. At breakfast time, Munch spotted Dinosaur Whack, a young Stegosaurus was eating a snack. Before she could finish, Munch gobbled it all, but he was still starving. The meal was too small. At lunchtime, he dined on some cones from a pine. Dinosaur Honk thought, how dare he, they're mine. And the parasol office honked in its may as Dinosaur Munch kept on crunching away. He ate all the fern meant for Dinosaur Chew. It was all gone before the Iguanodon knew. Chew was so hungry, but tried not to mind. He guessed there was plenty of food he could find. The rest of the herbivores couldn't be sure. Munch wanted more, and then more, and then more. He turned, and he grabbed what he thought was a stick. It looked ever so tasty, and juicy, and thick. He gave it a nibble, and let out a wail. It wasn't a stick, it was Munch's long tail. Diplodocus means double beam because of the special bones in its tail. Diplodocus had an extremely long neck, like a giraffe. Diplodocus had a row of short spines along its back. Diplodocus had a long tail like a whip. Diplodocus was one of the longest dinosaurs and Diplodocus had five toes on each foot just like an elephant. The end. Dinosaur Boo, the Deinonychus. The naughtiest dinosaur anyone knew was the sneaky Deinonychus, Dinosaur Boo. The moment he hatched from his egg in the night, he yelled Boo! at the moon, just to give it a fright. Then for a joke and a laugh and a romp, he crept and he leapt upon Dinosaur Stomp. And the grumpy Triceratops hadn't a clue who had jumped on his back 
with a terrible boo. Then Dinosaur Boo startled Dinosaur Munch as the hungry Diplodocus wolfed down his lunch. It gave Munch the hiccups between every chew. Louder and louder and louder they grew. The thunderous hiccups scared Dinosaur Flap and the nervous Oviraptor woke from her nap, mistaking the sound for the end of the world. She fell in a heap with her feathers unfurled. No one laughed louder than Dinosaur Boo. He bounded away like a mad kangaroo and hid by a tree at the edge of the lake. But that was a great prehistoric mistake. Somebody followed him. Who could it be? Whose beady eyes spied him under the tree? Who crept up behind him and opened his jaw? With a deafening roar, it was dinosaur roar. Boo gave a shriek and he slipped on the bank and went splosh in a big boggy puddle that stank. He was soaked. He was soggy. He hollered boo hoo. And the Tyrannosaurus thought that will teach you. Dinonychus means terrible claw. Deinonychus had a big hooked claw on the inside of each foot. Deinonychus had very large eyes which helped them to hunt even at night. Deinonychus had a long stiff tail to help it balance as it ran. Deinonychus had long arms with grasping hands. Deinonychus could leap in the air like a kangaroo. Deinonychus could bite like an alligator. Chomp! The end. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please tap the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more squeaky stories. Thank you.